Hey, I'm Gopar, and today we're going to continue the series on Emacs goodies, which is all about the packages that are either not well known, not popular, or that I just find pretty interesting. And most of them are built in, which is the plus side. All right, let's go ahead and dig into today. Let's so first thing is we're going to go into the configuration that I have. If I can focus on Emacs, uh, read me and then let's use let's jump to over here. So today's lucky winner is the time package that is already built in. And as you can see from the configuration, I'm having a doing blah, 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 getting tongue tied here. I'm doing a few things. So I'm using use package, use package as a configuration tool. And in here, you can see that I'm creating a hook that is called after Emacs is initialized, which is display time mode, which if you see, oops, if you see over here where I'm clicking, or not clicking, but where I have my mouse, it is showing the time. Now, your mode line might look different than mine because I am using do mode line, which is a pretty nice mode line uh, package. I recommend you guys use if you want to guys, if you guys want to make it look nice and pretty like I do, because who doesn't like nice and pretty? All right, enough of that. So yeah, so after initialization, it displays the time and I'm doing some customization. Now this file does a little bit more than display the time. It also does some cool stuff with showing time zones. So this is just a configuration string as to how I want the time zone to be displayed. And also right here, I have something called default load average. So this is just, so I set this to nil. So if you set this variable to nil, um, it will not display the system load average of whatever processes are running or whatever uh, over here next to the time. I just never find that useful, so I just turn it off. But you can turn it on if you like, and there's customization, of course, on how often it should refresh. So that's everything. That's up to you. And finally, up here, which you probably would have guessed, is configuring the time zones to be displayed when I want to see the time zones that I have listed, which is pretty straightforward. <laughs> But yeah, you'll see that in a moment. But first, let me dive into the time stuff and then we'll show the world clock stuff. So let's go ahead and jump in there and see what do we have. Let's zoom in. So yes, time.l, display time, load and mail, indicator mode lines of Emacs. That's another thing that I forgot. If you have Emacs hooked up to mail, this should also tell you if you have any new mail in the mode line. I do not use Emacs for mail. I like Emacs, but I don't think that Emacs should be in charge of a mail. That's my personal preference. Don't attack me or do attack me. Up to you, man. I can't tell you what to do. All right, let's see. What do we have? Uh, so as usual, we have some customization options. Uh, all of these are displaying mail. Uh, at least the first few customizations. So I'm going to skip over these because like I said, I don't use mail, so I don't touch any of these configurations options. So I'm not going to talk about it because that would just be not interesting. But here, this one, the default load average, this one is interesting. As you can see, it depends on how, apt, how often you want to refresh with the system average, the load average. So every one minute, five minutes, 15, or as always, you can customize yours and extend this and it will do what you want it to do. All right, and of course you can have a display threshold that's like, hey, anything lower, don't display it. So everything interesting. And now we will get into the time stuff. So as you can see, I have over here in the mode line, I have one, um, one o'clock, 18 p.m. So I have mine set to 12 hour format. You can set it to 24 if you like over here by setting it to true. I personally just, I'm from the US, so for me 12 hours is what I'm used to. I know overseas some people are used to 24 hours, but up to you. Uh, let's see, display time string. So, so yeah, not that much interesting stuff besides the configuration variables that you can read. You can obviously just do search for them, def custom, and then just go through each and every single one and read them. That's usually how I do things. Just go through all of them. Or another thing is I just do auto load and see what functions are automatically in scope when Emacs initializes, because sometimes they're not that they're not related. That's how I found out that this place, oh, that this place, this file also took care of loading uh, world or displaying zone times, which uh, world clock, yes. Yeah. So if you call that, you'll see a list of world, a world a list of worlds, that would be something, right? <laughs> you'll see the list of time zones that Emacs comes out of the box. But uh, you can configure it to show. It's pretty straight, it's pretty straightforward, like you saw in my configuration. So display time, displays the time. So if I call it display time mode, 
it goes away and if I call it again ta-da it comes back again beautiful pretty straightforward not that this should be a pretty short video but that's pretty much it besides the configuration options which you I'll leave it up to you guys to read because it's pretty straightforward not nothing too complex or anything interesting but let's jump into the time into the world clock uh, over here all right so display a world clock buffer with times in various time zones so let's give it a world world clock and we will call look at that so right here we have all the time zones that we have configured emacs already configured some stuff for you some default the only so this is the default list the only thing that i added was just madrid because i was just curious and that is it there's some configuration options as to how you want this to display as well everything is configurable and one little neat thing is you can use this little buffer as if you have mail and you're yeah if basically if you're writing the use case for this at least for me is if you're writing mail and you want to see what time people are at or just if you're in a meeting and you want to loop someone in you can just quickly configure this or pre-configure this to show what time zones you're interested and then just look up whenever you're working or whatever it's like oh hey this person is in this time zone what time is it is it too late to message them or whatever email them or whatever and then just have it like a little side buffer when you're writing mails and stuff like that that's the only thing that i can think of to use this besides occasionally just wondering what time someone is <laughs> and that time zone is different than yours but yeah but oh one thing here is one little neat thing that just comes a little out of the box not that big deal is if you press w it automatically copies the line into your kill ring so you can just paste it wherever if you want but i mean it's not that big of a deal it's just a little nice little little key binding but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty short video. As always, you can configure this with how you want it to do. Uh, let's see, are there any customizations that are related to the world world clock that I... Ah, yes. Uh, the zone info, which is... Uh, I display this. Yes, that's fine. Uh, the legacy stuff, this is basically just a fallback from Emacs. If for some reason uh, your system doesn't support this style, it'll just fall back into this and it most likely it'll work. But for most people, this configuring this is a lot easier than looking up and doing all this work. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, it's a one-time thing, but still, roll clock list. But yeah, this is pretty much um, pretty much straightforward. Configurations are easy. But yeah, that is it. Pretty short and simple video. I hope you like it. I hope you use it. Tell me what you think.